Hey guys, it's me, Ingenerea. Before we start with our topic today, I would like to thank those people who support my YouTube channel. Thank you also for the like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because of you guys, I have reached 500 subscribers. For today's video, I'm going to teach you guys about the shortcut and long method in surveying. The topic that I'm going to discuss is under the topic of the area of closed traverse, which is latitude and departure and the error of closure. So let's proceed. Let's discuss first the traverse surveying. Traverse surveying is one in which the framework consists of connected lines whose lengths are measured with a chain or tape and the direction are determined with an angular instrument. There are two types of traverse. First is closed traverse, second open traverse. Closed traverse. A traverse is said to be closed when a complete circuit is made when it returns to the starting point forming a closed polygon as shown in the figure. Open traverse. A traverse is said to be an open traverse when it does not form a closed polygon. It consists of series of lines extending in the same general direction and does not return to the starting point. But for this topic, we will be focusing on the closed traverse. Under this topic, we have latitude and departure. But before we proceed on how to compute the latitude and departure, let's discuss first latitude and departure. Latitude The latitude of a line is the projection on the north and south lines. It may be called north or positive latitude and south or negative latitude. Departure The departure of a line is the projection on the east and west lines. West departure is sometimes called negative departure. East departure is sometimes called positive departure. To be able to understand, let's base on the x and y component. When we say y component, it represents the latitude, while the x component represents the departure. In the shown figure, the line AB has its latitude AC and departure BC. The angle theta is the bearing of the line AB. For the computation of latitude and departure, the formula is latitude equals distance times cosine theta. Departure equals distance times sine theta. In the shown figure, it shows the correct sign convention for latitude and departure. In the first quadrant, the latitude and departure are both positive. In the second quadrant, the latitude is positive and the departure is negative. In the third quadrant, the latitude and departure are both negative. In the fourth quadrant, the latitude is negative and the departure is positive. So later on, we will be having an example about the latitude and departure. But for now, let's proceed to the next topic which is the error of closure. Error of closure, a short line of unknown length and direction connecting the initial and final station of the traverse. When the latitudes are added together, the resulting error is called the error in latitude. The resulting error from adding departure is called the error in the departure. If the measure bearings and distance are plotted on a sheet of paper, the figure will not close because of error of latitude and error of departure. To be able to solve the error of closure, the formula is the error of closure equals the square root of error latitude square plus error departure square. The formula for precision or relative error equals error of closure over the perimeter of all courses. Let's proceed to the example. The example is a parcel of land has been surveyed in the field and the lengths and bearings of the various sides are shown. In the shown table, it shows the different line with corresponding bearing and distances. Line AB has 53 degrees 27 minutes east of north with a distance of 59.82 meters. Line BC has 66 degrees 54 minutes east of south with a distance of 70.38 meters. 
Line CD has 29 degrees 8 minutes west of south with a distance of 76.62 meters. Line DA has 52 degrees west of north with a distance of 95.75 meters. The first question is compute the area of closure for traverse shown. The second question is what is the precision of the linear measure of the traverse? To be able to solve the error of closure, the first step is to solve the latitude and departure. The line AB lies in the first quadrant, so the latitude and departure are both positive. The latitude of line AB equals 59.82 cosine 53 degrees 27 minutes equals positive 35.62. The departure of line AB equals 59.82 sine 53 degrees 27 minutes equals positive 48.06. The shortcut method I mentioned earlier is how to solve the latitude and departure in the calculator techniques. The shortcut method to solve the latitude and departure is The first step is to press the shift button then the minus sign or rec. The next step is input the distance and the bearing of the corresponding line. Then, the result value in the calculator will be x and y. The x value will be the latitude and the y value will be the departure. Then, input or place the correct sign convention based on the direction. For the line BC lies in the second quadrant, so the latitude is negative and departure is positive. The latitude of line BC equals 70.38 cosine 66 degrees 54 minutes equals negative 27.61. The departure of line BC equals 70.38 sine 66 degrees 54 minutes equals positive 64.74. The line CD lies in the third quadrant, so the latitude and departure are both negative. The latitude of line CD equals 76.62 cosine 29 degrees 8 minutes equals negative 66.93. The departure of line CD equals 76.62 sine 29 degrees 8 minutes equals negative 37.30. For the line DA lies in the fourth quadrant, so the latitude is positive and departure is negative. The latitude of line DA equals 95.75 cosine 52 degrees equals positive 58.95. The departure of line DA equals 95.75 sine 52 degrees equals negative 75.45.
The second step is to get the sum of the value of latitude and departure. The third step is to input the summation of latitude and departure in the formula of error of closure. The fourth step is to solve the perimeter of the corresponding distance. The perimeter is equal to 302.57 meters. The last step is to input the perimeter to the formula of the precision of linear measurement. That's it guys. I hope you guys learned something about our topic today. If you have any question about the topic today, just comment down below or message me on my email account and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching it. Bye!